What's up, everybody? It's your boy LL, man. I'm here with another stand up comedy routine. Check it out. But I'm not a comic. <laughs> but I love having fun, man. You know what I'm saying? Say, man, what's up, man? I've been doing some discovery, man. You know, I love to, to get some information. Now, don't take this the wrong way, because I love the Lord just like you do. I'm just having fun, all right? But, man, I found this out. Shh, don't tell nobody, though. Jesus was black. <laughs> In case you didn't know, Jesus was a black man. Yeah, man, he was black. I'm going to tell you why in a minute, but before we get into all that, let me give you two rules, man. Number one, if my jokes are funny, you better laugh like crazy, you know what I'm saying? Number two, if my joke's not funny, you better laugh like crazy. Because if you don't, we're going to tickle your ass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but back to my thing, man. Jesus was black. Yes, he was, man. You know how I know he was black? Man, number one reason why I know he was black is because he was always late everywhere he came. Ain't no way he went, he was late, man. What you say, what you talking about, El? I'm talking about he showed up four days late to your boy Lazarus' funeral. Yeah, that's why Martha was tripping. She was like, Lord, if you would have been here, my brother wouldn't have died. He's like, yo, don't worry about it. I do miracles. <laughs> Lazarus, come forth, bro. <laughs> hey, man, because he could do all the miracles and stuff, he never, we were never worried about being on time. That's what we get the whole little thing, little saying about he ain't never, he may not come when you want him, <laughs> but he always on time. That's because he's black, man. <laughs> That's why we make up some excuses for people when they black and late like that. <laughs> That's how I know Jesus was black. You know, remember the wedding in Cana? Man, he showed up the ceremony over with. He come rolling in there 12 deep, by the way. What white people you know got 12 deep in their pockets? Six in one hand, six, half dozen in the other. <laughs> 12 deep, he rolling up there, man. Yo, we here, what's up? Man, Jesus, the wedding over with. And we ain't even got no more wine now. We at the, it's the reception, and we ain't got no wine. And don't worry about it. Cause I do miracles. <laughs> Turn the water into wine. But he's still a brother though. Cause yeah, he, he was late. Late to the wedding, man. Late to the funeral, late to the wedding. Mm -hmm. They in the boat, they out there, you know, tripping, they in the boat and everything. Storm come. They looking for Jesus. He down in the back of the boat, chilling, sleep, knocked out. <laughs> They say, man, Lord, you don't care that we about to die up in this piece. He was like, don't worry about it, man. I got you. I do miracles. Peace. Be still. <laughs> yeah, man. So because he do all the miracles, he ain't got to worry. He's sleeping all the time, and he laid everywhere he go. <laughs> That's how I know he was black. Man, then, you know, his disciples had to be black, too. They had to be. His boy, Matty Ice. You know, Matthew, St. Matthew, that's Matty Ice, you know what I'm saying? Man, dude worked for the IRS. You know everybody who worked for the IRS black. You know him. <laughs> he worked for the IRS, man, tax collector. And what about this boy, Tommy? You know Tommy, man. St. Thomas, Doubting Thomas. Man, Jesus showed up after he rose from the dead, popped up in the room, they in there eating. And Thomas like, Tommy like, yo, let me see your hands, Jesus. If you got some nail scars in your hands, then that might be you. <laughs> then he said, oh, no, man, because I was hiding behind the tree when they stuck you with that spear in your side. Let me see your side. He looked at, oh, yeah, that's Jesus. <laughs> oh, Tommy boy, man, you know he was black. And P-Rock, you know, St. Peter, Peter, that's P-Rock, man. P. Rock was a cussing, swearing old Christian. Yeah, he was. Carrying the blade, cut off old boy ear. <laughs> yeah, man, he went Mike Tyson on that dude, for real, though. <laughs> then he ran around there acting like he don't know Jesus, just cussing up a storm. You know, man, his disciples was all black. Judas betrayed him, turned his back on him, man. I don't know him. Yeah, I take the money. <laughs> 
Trade him trade for 30 pieces of silver, man. A little bit of old money. Ain't much worth nothing. That's how I know his disciples was black. And man, you know, black people, man, dudes especially, be giving you some real great answers to questions. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Jesus, he had been gone since he was 12. Now he's 30 years old. He pop up on the scene. They like, yo, Jesus, where you been? Up yonder. <laughs> he walking out from there. Oh, Jesus, where you about to go? Man, I'll be right back. Just going over there. He gave you some great answers, man. They don't want to tell you nothing. That's a, only a brother be with answers like that. You know what I'm saying? Then when he did come back at 30, man, 18 years done passed. Society done advanced. And now everybody got, they got chariots and they got horses and carts and all this. Jesus come rolling up there on a donkey. <laughs> Man, I ain't trying to be disrespectful, man. <laughs> but Jesus rolled up now on a donkey, yo. You know what that's like? That's like, you know, uh, let me see. Junior been gone for 18 years. Did a little time, you know. When he left, everybody had biceps. When he got back, everybody driving. Now it's 18 years later, almost two decades. And he come rolling up on a swim bicycle. In the hood. Oh man, we got cars now. Jesus, what you doing on a donkey, man? We got carts and chariots now. <laughs> That's how I know he was black, man. But yo, man, hey, you know what they calling? What they calling uh, preachers over in Germany now? German shepherds. <laughs> Hey man, that's all I got for you. It's your boy LL, man. I had a blast. Peace and love.